Whitmere is a little farm just um, about 15 miles south of Edinburgh and we've got a farm shop and a restaurant here as well as a butchery and a bakery and an art gallery and um, it's a bit of a community hub for the local area. I think fair trade, um, yes, I, I think fair trade communicates a, a responsibility where uh, that's, that's more in terms of the way I see it is is, is good practice in, in contract management and giving those who are actually producing the goods a fair price for a fair product and not looking to just maximise profit at every angle. Uh, yes, profit's important, you've got to stay in business, but is it profit at all, all costs or any cost? Um, I think fair, fair trade drives good, good behaviours, frankly. I think it means that you know where things are coming from, that nobody's getting um, kind of shortchanged and the, the quality of the food is good and um, both for yourself and for the people who made it. I think I've been, because I'm doing product design, I've been looking into consumerism and I think a lot of products are very cheaply produced and the people who make them and put the time into getting them onto the shelves don't get benefit from it and so I think it's really important for people to, you know, get recognised for what they do and it's done in a professional and sustainable way. And what do you think of Fair Trade now and where it's got to now? Um, I think it's great that it's a big part of the UK market. Um, you know, I'm quite proud the UK is still doing well on Fair Trade internationally and, and people still seem to get the message. I think in Scotland particularly it does cross class boundaries. I don't think it's a, an issue that's only about middle class people. I think a lot of people across Scotland think this is the right thing to do. And like everything else, once it goes mainstream, there's always a chance for the supermarkets to get in on the act and to sort of soften it and to pretend that it's part of what everybody does and it's just ordinary. So that's why we've always liked Equal Exchange because it's much more direct contact with the fair trade producers. It's not just about um, putting a, a, a sort of logo on the box and doing everything else the same as you do before. We all should look to try and shop in, in as responsible a way as, as we can. It's, it's not easy. You know, I'm not going to stand here and be hypocritical and say everything I buy is organic or fair trade. It's not. You, you, but um, I, I think it's important companies like yourself communicate what you are doing. Um, because I think there are others that use the fair trade symbol really to play on um, people's... Uh, willingness to do the right thing but are actually making a lot of profit out of it. I think it's hugely important that you actually communicate along the line what you're doing. That's what you see on the shelf but that's what's behind it. That's what's behind what you're buying.